Alrighty, welcome back YouTube to another episode, timely this time, and uh, we're going to be covering pickup animations uh, and like uh, equip animations, that kind of thing a little bit, and then uh, some weapon firing logic that I addressed in the previous episode. So first of all, let's handle the easy thing, and we're just going to get the firing logic out of the way. For those who watched the last one, you'll already know where I'm going to head with this. We're going to open our character, go to weapon primary here. And this is, uh, or wherever you're firing, right? This is where we're going to fire. And uh, before we call this logic, we want to just double check if we are holding a gun. Because now we have the option not to. So let's just get uh, item, is item equipped. And we're going to branch on both of these, actually. Released and pressed. Because even if we press and uh, we don't, uh, if, even if we press and it fails, the release will still trigger and can still trigger uh, this stuff, which will trigger errors. Um, and that is what I demonstrated in my my last one, where, uh, let's see, if we just tell that these are true all the time, whenever we just fire, we've got no, I don't know if you can hear my mouse clicking, I'm sure you can, we've got no weapon. So what's going to happen? Errors galore. And it's trying to reference something that we don't have, we haven't picked it up, whereas if we simply go over, pick up the weapon, and fire a bunch, we're not going to get any errors. Well, let's fix that by basically asking if we have the item equipped, right? And uh, that that's great, but there's also something else that can happen as a, as a little glitch, because we do have reloading. So I just went down a tangent that I wasn't able to illustrate because we already have reloading while firing and firing while reloading covered by our firing logic and our gun. It won't let us fire if we're reloading. And by our reloading logic, either in our gun, uh, let's see, yeah, our reloading logic in our gun as well uh, prevents us from doing that. But just to double check your work, it doesn't hurt because discrepancies always happen. Not always, but you know, it's, it's just good. You can just put an and in here, uh, and you can really just do it on the on the top one because stop fire doesn't doesn't hurt if you stop firing while you're reloading. That doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, equipped item and not reloading. So if our item's equipped and we're not reloading, we can fire. Now, of course. Our logic still kind of already does that it's just we're just double checking ourselves, but that never hurts right it's not like you're dividing by zero you're not going to crash your game by just double checking your work and see i'm hitting r and uh, i can't reload and then i can reload but i can't fire and then i can let go and fire again and i can let go and fire again right so our, our logic still works it doesn't break anything but it's just good to double check okay so how do we do equip animations well We'll want to hop into our animation blueprint and go into our state machine for when we have our item equipped. Because the second we equip, it's going to go straight into this state machine. And the first thing we want it to do, usually we want it to go straight to idle, which is all well and fine, but I want it to pass through something first. We're going to add a new state here. We're going to just call this pickup. And it's not going to be a pickup animation, I'm sorry, but it's going to be the equip animation that we're going to use later in the series. So first thing we want to do is open this up. And, oh, pardon me. We actually want to go back and grab walking um, because we're going to blend these. Uh, so that way, even if we're like running around, it doesn't make it just like stop and run the animation. It can run the top half of the animation and our body can still be moving uh, down low. So let us uh, just copy that, go to pickup paste and what we're going to do is blend layered or sorry layered blend per bone pardon me our base is what we want our bottom half to be so we can keep rifleable movement down there uh, and technically we could get unequipped movement because uh, I believe that would be better for jumping and whatnot but we can we can toy around with this later and our blend pose should be the equip animation that we have equip rifle standing and then uh, we want to go back to our uh, node for blending go to the layer setup and this is where we pick the bone 
I find it best that you can pick the uh, sp uh, spine bone. I usually pick the lower one, spine one. Uh, and if you want to know how I got this, I kind of memorized this because, like I said in a uh, previous episode about the skeletons all being the same, uh, if you work with it long enough, you just know what the skeleton names are, and or pardon me, bone names are. Uh, and so they go by spine one uh, uh, through three at the top. So one, two, three. You can kind of get your pivot points where you want the animation to split and whatnot. And you can even blend. You can have further blending and whatnot and get real fancy with it, but we're not... We're not a triple-A studio. We're, we're shooting for a good look and whatnot, because um, I've kind of advertised it triple-A look in the past, but we're, we're not, right? We're just doing our absolute best without reworking uh, Unreal Engine as a whole. So, last thing we want to add is a mesh space rotation, I'm pretty sure. And then, let's save this up, go back to our state machine and go to uh, the pickup idle transition, right? So this is where we tell it, how do we transition? Well, we want to get time remaining. Here we go. Time remaining uh, equip rifle standing. So this is basically saying how much time is left on this animation that we're running right now, if we're running this animation, which we certainly are because this is just a one-way path right that's the cool thing about these this is a two-way it goes both ways this is clearly just a one-way path well we just want to say if it is less than or equal to 0.1 if you're like if you're right at the finish line just start that transition because the transition is going to be smooth and fast enough that you're not really going to notice so if we compile and click uh let's see is item equipped weapon check that Whoop. it's going to equip it and we're in. If uh, if you want to see how the logic plays on that, because it did not play properly, let me just unequip, and we don't have that switching back. We will definitely fix that. Is item equipped? Check it. There we go. Stands on the pickup, and we're good. Uh, why does it look like it's doing the wrong animation? I don't know. I thought the rifle one. I thought the rifle one was like over the shoulder. Ah, I don't know. Regardless, that's how we'll do that, and then uh, I'll. I'll reference the other animations uh, later for how to uh, transition back to unequipped because it's kind of just boop, like he drops it, which is fine. But you you probably want uh, to, you'll want to see how to insert that um, for those who want the specific reference. So as for now, when we hit play, let's go into third person here. We've got nice walking that we can do. We don't have the camera looking in the way we can pick stuff up, but I'll handle that in a future episode, hopefully the next one, I believe. If we look at the gun, pick it up, we're running that nice animation, and then we're into shooting and all that, right? Now, of course, this is still pretty rough, but I also have a pretty cool solution for this that I'm gonna handle in the future. So stick around for some other animation stuff because animations do make everything in a certain way. Their looks, they're pretty, but of course you could you could have everything be animationless and still run the logic. It just wouldn't have those little things that really make the world and connect it and make it right, of course. So bear with me for not having any animation skills and all that. But if you do want to help out and help with the custom animations and stuff, I would really like someone to help uh, publish free ones and stuff for people to work with. Um, but, you know, I'm, I, it takes work, and I understand that I'm not asking for, uh, you know, just everyone to volunteer their time. Regardless, thank you so much. Thank you for the commenting and subscribing and sticking around for my videos. Hope everyone's staying safe, and I'll see you in the next one.